You are about to join us on an adventure. My name is Wanger Wedgie, intrepid explorer, former marine, Bible lover, and friend to animals everywhere. I've traveled the four corners of the globe, climbed mountains, forged rivers, and faced countless dangers to bring you the world's most interesting creatures. This is Quitter Kingdom. Where you at, man? Bugsy! Where you at, you crazy seagull? If I catch you, I'm gonna cook you in a stew! Oh, oh. hello there, man! How you be? I said, how you be? All right, welcome to the island of Jamaica. Let's see it on the map. Oh, there it is. That's where I live. Now, Jamaica is 765 miles away. <laughs> now, my name is Simeon. I'm a good friend of Ranger Reggie's. Every time he come to Jamaica, he always want to go eat in my restaurant. That's where he be right now. He say I'm the best cook on the island. <laughs> You know, I was just about to go cook him some of my favorite crawfish soup, you know. <laughs> but then my pet seagull, Bugsy, he took my favorite cooking spoon. Them seagulls, they so greedy. <laughs> they see a shiny object and they want to go take it. <laughs> Bugsy's whole family is like that. You guys want to see a video of Bugsy's last family reunion? Yeah? yeah? yeah. Roll the clip! <laughs> Okay, I swear, this is Bugsy's family. Girl, what is it? Fish got your tongue? Not these guys. Look, a duck! I gotta find my son, oh. Nemo! <gasps> Nemo? Hey, hey, hey! Oh, I know that's fish. Nemo. You know what we've been talking about? The They're coming. The They're ocean. always late. Hey, I know where your son is. Huh? Hey, wait! The are coming! Stop! He's going! He's going! He's crazy! I got something to tell ya! Oh, here they come. That's his family! Hi. Okay, don't make any sudden moves. Oh. Hop inside my mouth if you want to live. Hop in your mouth, huh? And how does that make me live? Mine? That's Bugsy! That's Bugsy right there! Take you to your son. Yeah, right. Oh, I know your son. He's orange. He's got a gimpy fin on one side. That's me! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. oh, God! There they go! They're so greedy! Fashion your seatbelts! Oh, they fly so fast. Oh, my, my. with the greediness. I swear, that's the way it is with the greediness. Somebody who wants everything often ends up with nothing. Hey, that remind me of a parable. I wonder if Ranger Reggie has a Bible. Does Ranger Reggie have a Bible here? Oh, I found it. Let me get it out. Okay. We jam I love this song. Okay, so let's see here. Here we are. The rich fool. <laughs> Rich fool, that's a silly name. <laughs> I wonder why they call him that. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of you here. Why don't we act this one out? Does it sound good? Who wants to be the rich fool? Who wants to be the rich fool? You right there in the silly shirt. Come on up over here. <laughs> up here. Step on up. And you stand right there. Don't move. Okay, so you're a rich man. So you're going to need this crown. And you're going to need these sunglasses. So you go put those on. There you go. Okay, and this mink stole. Let me put that on you. Oh, popping. Okay, so what you need is a sports car and a checkbook and these maracas and this camera and this little pony you got there. You got all that rich man? You got all that rich man? Hold on to it tight. Don't drop any of it now. It's all yours. Okay, so let's read our story. This is what the Bible says. And Jesus told them this parable. The ground of a certain rich man produced a good crop. 
Oh, you got crops now, so you're going to need these grapes. Oh, how tight you need these grapes, this carrot, this artichoke. Oh, you need this bell to bring the cows home. Okay. Oh, these apples there. Okay. And this can of dolphin safe, dolphin free tuna. All right, there you go. All right, so let's see what the Bible say. He thought to himself, what shall I do? I have all of these crops, but I have no place to store them. This, oh, he dropped them. This is what I will do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones. And there I will store all my grains and my goods. That sounds like a smart idea. I wonder why the Bible call him a rich fool. Okay, so we need a barn. Let's pretend that this trunk right here is your barn. Oh, no. Let me take that from you. Okay, so put all your stuff in there, rich man. You got it. Oh, let me help you out there. You got it. Put all your stuff in there. Okay. Oh, no, you can keep that on. You look good in that. All right. So the next thing. Oh, let me see. So let's read what the rich guy said next. And I say to myself, you have plenty of good things laid up for many years. Take life easy. Eat drink and be merry. So here you go, man. Have a seat on your throne. Kick your feet up right here. Oh, and I got something for you here. I got you a juice box and one of these cookies. Yeah, man. You live in the life. Every little thing is going to be all right. Don't worry. Okay. Now listen to what happened next. Hey, hey, listen to what happened next. But God said to him, you fool. This very night, your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? This is how it will be with anyone who stores up things for himself, but is not rich toward God. You see that, kids? You see that? God called this man a fool. Not just because he was storing up things for himself, but because of his attitude. The man was keeping things for himself, not storing things that last forever. If we don't use our riches to be rich towards God, then all we have is a trunk full of junk. Now let's give a big round of applause to our rich man. Oh, you, let me take that. You can keep the cookie in the juice box though. Looking good, man. Yeah, let's give a big round of applause for the rich man. All right. Woo. Now that is some parable, but let's see what Jesus say next. He was giving us a great big warning. Do not be, do not be greedy like the seagull. He said, watch out, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. A man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. So the Bible is teaching us that we must use the things that God gives us to build up the kingdom of God instead of keeping them for ourselves. Having things is not so bad, but things should not be the most important thing in our lives. Our greatest treasure is Jesus that's what it means to be rich towards God. Well, man, I got to go keep cooking and find that spoon. Hey, but while I'm here, why don't we all say the campus code? Come on, you salty sea dog, stand up and let's say it together, man. Okay, raise your right hand. I will love God with all my heart, man. I will love my neighbor as myself, man. I will be a light wherever I go, man. All right. Now let's sing that safari train song. Come awesome. On, really quick. Hand. I need a volunteer. I need, we a, need volunteer. a volunteer. Yeah, but will you help me out? Why don't you help me out? Go ahead. Go ahead and raise our seagull flag, please. Would you raise our oh, seagull flag? Seagull. I like that. There we go, there we go. And I think I already hear you guys. Uh, I think we need to ask a question, though. What, uh, what, uh, what does the, uh, what does the, uh, fox the uh, say? <laughs> not the fox, but uh, the seagull. What does the seagull say? What does the seagull say? Mine? Yeah, mine? mine? So let's all try it. Here we go. That's what you said. Mine? 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 Oh, sounds like, a, sounds like a good bunch of seagulls. Oh, I need to give you your hat. Mine? All right, can you help me get and the train started? Go like this, right? All right, here we go. He's taking it. He goes like <laughs> this.
goes in batch. I thought I thought we were in I thought we were in Jamaica. We kind of keep it keep it laid back. Oh, it's laid back. Yeah. Can man. can we go faster than I that? We Even in Jamaica? Yo, put it. Can we go? Seat, All right, help me out. Here we go. Job. Well, you know what? I think it's time for us to go back to our classes. Oh, you're right, man. So we'll see you later. You guys be seated. Say goodbye, man. Bye, man. Y'all have a good man. one, man. Uh, you guys be seated and bon voyage.